$6,000 Ethereum, $90,000 Bitcoin. These are some of the things I'm going to be talking to you about with a very crazy chart pattern as we go on in this video. First of all, though, with the short term analysis, Bitcoin managed to get rejected at 28.6, which is exactly what we're expecting, given that this is a resistance area. And it does mean that we continue to be range bound. In the most recent video that I made, which you would have seen if you've been subscribed to the channel, you got the bell icon checked and everything like that. You will know that I was saying that, look, nothing's happening right even if we're pumping even if we're dropping we're still range bound we're still stuck in the same sideways range which is effectively just bitcoin consolidating at a fairly major area of resistance so as far as you know this chart goes we're actually in my opinion still doing the best thing we could have possibly uh, been doing right i mean and if we're trending up uh you know and we want to keep moving up we really only have two options either we pull back with price or we pull back i suppose with time we correct with price the price drops or we correct with time uh, or in some cases we actually get both although this is obviously just more manipulated action um you know and so kind of just consolidating at a high uh you know is usually what precedes another move up you know in in reverse if we take a look at this when we're dropping down we kind of just consolidate at a low that's usually what ends up dropping us lower not only on um you know time frames like this but if we zoom in even further also on time frames like this and time frames like this we see the same things happening over and over um, just kind of repeat it across different time frames and right now we've got that same consolidation right here so i like what i'm seeing i'm sorry support sits at 26.7 that's where i'm expecting bitcoin to go now this middle of the range level at about 27.7 is also interesting for bitcoin we do just kind of move around here a little bit I don't know if this is worth pointing out, but I think day traders, those of you that are trading this market regularly, um, you would appreciate, um, you know, keeping an eye on a level like that. And of course, whether you're a day trader or looking at, you know, kind of slightly longer term trades, a little bit like me, because I'm not a very aggressive day trader. I like to trade kind of swing positions. Um, Bybit is, is always going to be the best place to be. Check it out with the link in the description below, because you're going to be getting up to $30,000 in just free trading ammunition that they give you, which you can throw into the market. If you make any profits, you can keep it. If you don't make any profits, if you lose the money, it doesn't matter because it was free money to begin with. I want to make it very clear to you. A lot of you have already signed up to buy, but you haven't got the bonus some of you um, the reason some of you guys haven't got the bonus yet is because you haven't made your first deposit and you haven't started trading as soon as you do that you get your bonus uh, so definitely go ahead and check that out if you're interested uh, but yeah seeing the sideways range here support at 26.7 is still what I'm going to be expecting just before I get to these really funny uh, you know chart patterns very cool chart patterns but there is a bit of humor here as well which I think uh, is just interesting to point out um, Ichimoku cloud still sitting proud exactly where we want it right I mean bitcoins and a phenomenal position can we crash significantly lower right through the support of obviously yes of course we could we still have support down at 25k which is the main level that i would like to see back tested this is just what would be healthy for the market if the market can pull back down to 25k and then continue to rally up that's going to be a really strong sign that actually uh the bears have um have had their chance you know they've had their time to shine they have not seized the opportunity meaning they haven't taken the price lower than 25 um you know and so that would be what i'm looking at as far as other levels it's worth pointing out just in case we get a really hard drop i don't see it happening but in case we do get a really hard drop the key support areas for me uh if we zoom out a little bit more are going to be around here at 23.7 uh and around here at 22.7 uh, you know, maybe even down to 21.5, but this level looks a little bit less significant to me these days. So 23.7, 22.7. It's interesting that all of these levels end in $700. I don't know why I'm not picking that on purpose. It just kind of happens to be where like the best place to draw the line is. Um, that's just what I'm seeing. Uh, let me know if you guys are getting that on your chart as well in the comments, because I'd be curious to know how that's going for you guys. So, uh, you know, pretty good support, um, you know, even even if we drop into the lower 20s, uh, you know, and, and with Ichi support right here and so on, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Moving averages, giving Bitcoin some support on the four hour time frame, and one day we still haven't hit. So keep this in mind. Um, you know, a lot of people uh, are probably going to start getting a little bit scared if we start dropping by a couple thousand dollars, especially considering things like the fear and greed index which still sits quite high at a reading of 60 although fortunately we do now have retail back uh, majority short we've got 0 0.7 long positions for every short which is nice to see because top traders are still long um, so that is always interesting to take note of now if we move over to what I actually want to draw your attention over to, it's these broadening triangles. Now, these are quite interesting patterns. Um, they're not my favorite form of analysis, and I want to make this very clear with you before I get deeper into the video, but they are still pretty cool, and they've actually been shockingly accurate 
uh, for predicting where Bitcoin is going to go in the past. We have one right now. I'm going to show you a few examples of why they're important first, and we're going to get to that in just a second. If you're enjoying this video so far, do me a favor and smash up the likes. Make sure you're subscribed and all that good stuff as well. Uh, but here's the deal with this broadening triangle right here is we just kind of have, uh, you know, a support level that keeps dropping and a resistance level that keeps rising and it just forms, yeah, basically one of these, uh, you know, almost crocodile shape, uh, crocodile mouth shape patterns right here um you know and this one right here this is when bitcoin fell down to thirty thousand dollars and then rallied up to 69 so uh you know to give you a little bit more context of where we are on the chart let's take this on the daily time frame and just remove everything off the chart um you know we're probably looking at uh yeah we're, we're, we're looking at basically exactly this range like somewhere around here um is where you can draw this pattern and obviously it's always going to look a little bit different depending on if you're on the logarithmic linear chart but this is more or less what we're looking at um right here and uh, and this resulted in a nice 20 percent move to the upside right so nothing crazy but definitely a nice move to the upside when we managed to break out um now another occasion here this was much bigger uh what we're looking at right now is this price action right here uh i believe let me just double check make sure i'm yeah yep yeah, around around here it's it's all of this price action here um you know we've got another very big uh and again you know this is this is going to be drawn differently depending on uh you know like which chart you're on and, and so on right and how you've moved the lines so i'm not going to try and reproduce this now because this is kind of confusing to draw uh but we had another broadening triangle here very very same principle but in this case it resulted in a 600 percent pump to the upside these are very accurate in my experience of just like just looking at these charts i mean you know obviously by all means please look at this yourself on trading view i've got a link to trading view in the description down below as well um you know because you need to back test this for yourself to kind of test its validity but from what i've seen it looks pretty good um and a 600 percent pump there as well so uh, that's also pretty exciting and then here's a third example a final example for you guys this is when bitcoin topped out at 20k um and then fell from uh you know this was the 6k low the 6k floor this was 3,150. Bitcoin rallied up to $11,000, basically doubled. Um, and then it rallied up to 10 and then 8 and then 7. Um, you know, and then we kind of just fell down. And over here, we formed that same kind of broadening triangle. Um, and we f managed to form a 170% pump. So big, big pumps coming off these patterns, especially across larger time frames. And here's ours. We're in one right now. Um, we're looking at something very similar to these previous instances. This one is definitely quite different, but we look somewhat similar to this and we look very similar to this, right? And this is interesting because we actually formed this particular broadening triangle only back in late 2021, uh, mid 2021, right? So it's not that long ago. It's like 18 months ago definitely a long time don't get me wrong but you know these other ones are substantially further back in time um you know and so what i find interesting is that not only are we reproducing the same pattern now we're reproducing it uh you know i mean like relatively close to when the previous one happens but it's like almost exactly the same shape right i mean it looks very similar um this is our current one right here and um you know if you draw these uh, slightly differently or even you know draw more of them this almost starts to become a bit comedic because we've got a broadening triangle inside of another broadening triangle um you know and this is the very same chart pattern that we're in right now uh this just depicts bitcoin falling down to 20k and then down to 15 over here and now we're up to 28 so this is the present day chart um we, we've got we've got basically a broadening triangle inside of a broadening broadening triangle but it gets better because we've got another one uh, and um and, and this is where we're getting that speculative target of ninety two thousand dollars where if you manage to break out of all of these things can get very exciting now obviously this is this is just getting a little bit ridiculous and we're you know starting to move away from what you know good ta should be uh but it, it, it's it's funny and poetic in a sense because at the same time fractals reproduce in all sorts of different time frames right i showed you that earlier on in the video um i actually do a lot of my analysis this way because i'm not looking to do things that are complicated right like when people talk about fractals you know fractals are a very uh, they're almost mystical in this space, you know, like fractals are the closest thing it feels uh, a lot of people think that, that we have to astrology for women, uh, you know, but uh, I actually am a subscriber to the fractals kind of theory in TA. I think that these work out quite often because really all they're doing is they're just exhibiting characteristics of an asset, right? Bitcoin has similar characteristics that it echoes throughout time, uh, you know, and so is it is it a huge coincidence? I, obviously it's a coincidence but is it a huge one that we have a broadening triangle inside of a broadening triangle inside of a very very big broadening triangle 
definitely a coincidence, but not a massive one in my opinion, considering that this is just quite a universal pattern. It's also very easy to draw these, but what's important to note is we've got resistance stacked up right here, guys. Uh, you know, we've got resistance from this triangle and from this triangle stacked up at the very same price level as just 28K itself. This is a heavy area of resistance, guys. This is a real, real serious deal. But we also know that these things do tend to break out. Now, it might take a very, very long time, right? There's strong limitations to this analysis. I wanted to make this very clear with you at the beginning as I did. Um, you know, this could take a very, very long time or we could be looking at a more immediate breakout. Like I said, this looks most similar to what we're in right now to me, not only because it's happening across somewhat similar time frames, but also if you look at the very end when we managed to get that breakout, admittedly, it is only a 20% pump. Maybe this can also echo something that we do now. Um, you know, we do get that breakout after being in a period of consolidation. We are all very familiar with this consolidation that Bitcoin is in right now. If we manage to pull a further 20% pump from where we are right now, Let's take a quick look at where that puts us. Uh, you know, if we if we just kind of trace this up and move up by 20%, that gives us a t uh, price target of, I can't read this number, of $34,000. So that is, as you will know very, very well, the very top of my resistance range that I've been talking to you about for a while. You guys are going to be very familiar with this level if you've been subscribed to the YouTube channel for a minute because this box has not moved for maybe like over a year now. Uh, I just haven't done anything with this box because this to me is where the top of the resistance band is. So 33.8 is where I drew it up to. 34k is the speculative target that this is giving if we reproduce the same kind of gain realistically we might end up doing something a little bit less because this is still a resistance range and quite a big one at that um you know and uh, and, and i don't want to say 20 percent is definitely going to happen i do not think that 599 percent or 170 percent are going to happen i don't think we're going to see any sort of triple digit gain from here um you know if we did manage to pull off something like that you know, let's just put this into perspective quickly. Uh, you know, if we just go for that lower target at 170%, that still gives us a $76,000 Bitcoin. And you know what? Um, that's obviously quite an exciting prospect, but I don't want to make the bet that we're out of the bear market yet. Um, it certainly looks very, very good. Um, you know, on the weekly time frame, guys, I want to point this out to you guys as well. We've moved up very nicely. We had one strong reversal candle here, and the next candle is looking more or less like a reversal too. Um, you know, we are just pausing here. Now, granted, forming reversal candles, uh, you know, basically at market tops, right? At heavy, heavy resistance areas after huge rallies, these are very bearish signs, right? I mean, if you're a long-term bearish on the chart, this is the point where you're really, really seriously, um, uh, what's the word? Um, being skeptical of this chart you're ridiculing this you're critical that's the word you're being very critical of this price action right now because we've formed a huge 80 percent rally from the bottom guys um you know eight 90 percent depending on how you draw it. i mean i probably drew it slightly wrong there let's take a look at this again yeah i mean 87 percent because we did actually punch a new high today and um and, you know and now we're just forming all of these classic reversal candles um you know th this is very telling that the market could be dropping lower right so i want you guys to keep that in mind um, now can we continue to rise even though we are forming reversal candles absolutely we've done that before many times here's an another example of you know i think what most people would consider to be a reversal candle uh, and the market just kind of it does mess about for a little bit it takes a few weeks but we do keep on rising upwards here's another few examples this is very similar to what we're in right now huge pump to the upside and several you know candles just displaying indecision but at the end of the day what it results in is that the market just has a time to uh, has a period of time to consolidate and prepare for another lift off higher again i'm not saying that that's what's going to happen here but we have set up similar to what have worked out really well for bitcoin in its past for me 26.7 is going to be that first key area of support if we lose that it's going to be 25 24 counts as the same support level in my opinion we can fall all the way down here uh, and we're still uh, also percentage wise not even that far away right it's only 4.4 percent down from the 25k area so i'm not too concerned if bitcoin plunges below here down to 24 23.7 roughly they're about the same thing to me um you know if we fall below 23.7 i'm not going to be too happy i do still see support at 22 seven but um you know this for me is going to be a very very important level um that would invalidate bitcoin's current bullish trend i certainly hope that we don't fall below it but uh you know there you go that is my analysis on that just in case we do uh, and also ethereum 
Ethereum's got the very same pattern as Bitcoin on its long-term chart uh, with its target sitting at $6,000 as well. Uh, again, this is going to take a real big bull market. This is going to take, you know, hyperinflation or whatever to, to you know, to get there now. Uh, you know, I don't think that that's going to happen now. I don't, I don't know about hyperinflation. That's probably a bit too strong of a word. We don't want to throw that word around too casually, but <clears throat> it's certainly... Uh, it, it is is going to require more more money in, uh, in in the economy, right? More money printing and stuff like that, and uh, you know, and so that I don't know. That's just not something I want to bet on right now. Even though things aren't looking amazing, right? From a macroeconomic perspective, uh, you know, things are going pretty bad in the United States. I'm also uh, kind of surprised at how quickly countries have started to move away from the dollar. Um, everybody knew that this was coming. Everybody knew that uh, you know most countries that are big. Um, do not want to be relying on the U.S. Uh, you know, I should say most Western countries that most countries that are not Western, which are big, do not want to be relying on the dollar for trade, and um, you know, and so we all knew that. Uh, but the, the the time it took for nothing to happen versus a lot of things to happen uh, seems to be very quick, right? I mean, it seems like uh, everyone was talking about it for a while, um, but nothing really happened until like very recently. Uh, you know, the last few weeks and, and all of a sudden it's all starting to change. We're still not taking huge steps, right? No one's making extremely, you know, uh, game changing declarations. Uh, but but there is a clear shift, right? These things, uh, especially, you know, countries stopping, you know, using the US dollar for trade. Uh, I wouldn't anticipate that they necessarily happen overnight, right? A lot of these changes might might have to take some time, uh, you know, and so we are, we're in a really weird place. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely not something that you and I have ever seen in our lifetimes, um, you know, and if, uh, if if you are of the opinion that a weaker dollar means money flowing into speculative, um, you know, assets uh, or, or or more, you know, more reasonably that that, you know, the US dollar falling might just mean more people buy gold, you know, uh, then then that might end up having a, a positive, um, you know, knock on effect for crypto because crypto seems to have been, uh, you know, correlated pretty nicely with gold recently. If we take a look at gold very quickly, um, you know, gold's not doing too bad. Gold's holding higher lows um, with this trend right now. And it's, uh, you know, it, it obviously shot up um, you know, I believe during the Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank collapses and stuff like that. Um, you know, so gold is still, uh, you know, really very, very interesting to many people. And, you know, at the same time, it managed to drag Bitcoin higher with it as well. Um, you know, so I think that that's not going to change. I think that that's going to continue. Uh, so, you know, personally for me, I'm bullish on gold. Uh, I don't see, um, you know, good reason to be bullish on the dollar right now. I do not like to bet on currencies going down. I want to make this very clear again. I say this almost every video. I'm not happy to see any currency in the world uh, get weaker and collapse because that means normal fucking people suffer a lot. Um, so I don't want to see that, obviously, uh, you know, but unfortunately, what I want to see and what actually happens can be two different things. Right. And in this case, we just have a weak situation for the dollar as far as I can see doesn't change what I want in my heart, uh, you know, but um, but I, I'm not I'm not here to, uh, you know, and I always say it, I'm not here to stand in a circle and, uh, you know, just kind of uh, saying, you know, we're all going to make it and stuff like that. I am ultimately just here to make money. Uh, and what I'm seeing is that the dollar continues to look bearish. Gold continues to look bullish. Bitcoin continues to look bullish. These patterns are promising. I wouldn't stake a whole lot on them, uh, but I think that they are promising. I like what I'm seeing. We're just seeing more of the right stuff. Um, you know, could we continue to drop down now? Uh, absolutely, yes. Could we start setting new lows? Yeah, but I don't think any of that is likely. I think we're more likely at worst to just drop down to 25, you know, 24. Uh, but, you know, if not, just kind of hold the support level and then continue rising up. That's that's what I'm seeing right now. That's what I've been seeing. Nothing has changed my opinion on any of these matters. I remain in my long position. I'm still sitting at roughly $180,000 profit. So very, very happy with that. VIPs have seen how that position has evolved in real time. And actually, many of you guys inside of my free Four Flies channel, uh, Four Flies Gold channel, have also seen those updates as well because I've continued to share them inside of Four Flies Gold as well quite a bit. So check them out by following those links in the description down below. Meanwhile, double check that you've got your 30K potential bonus on Bybit. I want to remind you guys that if you haven't got your reward yet, some of you have not gotten it yet. Um, that is because you haven't made your first deposit uh, or traded yet as well. So, uh, you know, the larger deposit and trading volume you have, the more money they're going to give you. Uh, and that, again, is just free trading ammunition that they, uh, you know, just, just give you to 
to, to, to trade with. And, um, you know, if you make money, you get to keep it. You get to withdraw those profits. So that is very, very cool. With that, I really hope you have enjoyed this video. You know exactly what to do. Hit up the like, subscribe, tick the bell, do all that good stuff. Let me know what you thought of this one. Slightly different. We had a different, we had a bit of a flow on this one. Let me know what you think about it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.